Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. Today's vlog, I'm going to talk about the five places that you should visit Cebu. So if you are a foreigner and you've been wondering what are the places that you should visit, because you only have a week to stay here, so this video will help you. So I know you've heard a lot of places here in Cebu, but most of the places are similar to each other. Although there's a kind of a twist or that place has something to offer. But I guess this five places I'm going to tell you are the most recommended ones. As a local, I'm from Cebu. I've been a lot of places already in Cebu, but these five places are awesome places here in Cebu. So there's two uh, main islands here in Cebu. The, uh, where I am staying right now is the Mactan Island. So this is where I live. So our island is um, already progressive and I love it so much. And the other one which is the bigger one, the, the Cebu city, wherein it's composed of many provinces. So we're part of the province but actually um, the mainland or Lapu-Lapu city is where the airport is. Okay. So we're just a few minutes from the airport, but since the city is going well, um, traffic is most likely. Here's the top five places that you should visit here in Cebu. First, you need to go to the Santo Niño Church. Santo Niño Church is one famous church here in Cebu because of that is one of the foundations of the Cebuano. So if you want to connect to the cultures or the locals here in Cebu, you need to go to the Santonino Church. Why is it famous? Because um, I think it's part of us growing up and one part of the culture here in Cebu. Uh, how we are, how we are as a, a Cebuano, Filipinos really uh, hold on to our religion to our spiritual being and um, every time we have problems we ask the guidance um, of the Santo Nino so aside from it um, Santo Nino is also famous because of its Sinulog festival so I know you've heard the street parties and all the parades and um, with the celebrities and beautiful um, car I mean beautiful uh, cultural dances so it's um, it happens every uh, third week of January so last year we uh, just this year we have visited uh, we have attended the Sinulog party street parade um, before the lockdown okay so it was really fun if you come here um, uh, start of the year okay January because we have a lot to offer here in Cebu so you don't only enjoy the street party but you also get to um, enjoy the beauty around Cebu so you could start your journey with Sinulog festival and after that you go around Cebu the beaches and the mountains the scenery and everything else that you want to do okay Santo Nino Church so be there and you can actually light a candle so even if you're not a Catholic but if you really want to connect with the locals or the Philip uh, the Cebuanos here visit Santo Nino Church so that you will also get a protection or you also be guided your uh, the whole stay your whole stay here around Cebu So next in the list is Oslo Whale Shark Watching. So Oslo is quite far from here, so it will take you three to four hours to get you to that whale shark activity. So most probably you have to catch a bus as early as 5 a.m. so that you'll be able to get there um, just on time. So most probably 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. 
for your information, well Shark watching activities is only up to 12 noon. So be there as early, uh, be catch a bus as early as 5 a.m. so that you'll be able to experience well Shark watching. Otherwise, you have to do it in the mor the next morning. Okay, what's the good thing about us the well Shark watching is that, of course, the well Sharks. So I experienced it myself and truly an amazing experience experience to me because you, nor, in your normal days you can never see us a huge fish like this truly amazed and I was speechless and no amount of joy can um, define it because it's just so lovely and amazing and although it's so scary but um, the experience was really worth it although it's a quite expensive one but let's just support the locals tourism in Oslo so for the locals you need to pay 500 pesos and you'll be able to swim with the sharks and uh, you have um, in close uh, that includes um, the snorkeling gear and that's it and be able to swim and for the tourists you need to pay 1,000 pesos it's quite expensive for the tourists I don't know what's the reason behind it but I think um, just go with it anyways it's really worth it and then um, there's also an option you could actually just sit on the boat if you're too scared to swim or if you don't know how to swim so um, you could actually just sit on the boat and just watch the whale shark go on the top while eating the the foods I mean it's just a little shrimps I think it smells um, it's uh, it's a uh, it's although it's smelly it has a foul odor I think it's the small shrimps um, I don't know how they call it but they feed it to the whale shark and and the whale shark just emerge from the water and just open its mouth very and it's really huge experience that have that um, enjoy that activity because um, you'll never see that um, in your normal days and it's one thing that you need to connect with the nature see um, just enjoy how this huge creatures um, get by, uh, get along with the people so thanks for that um, Teresa or in Oslo they have that kind of activity because it helps us relieve stress from our day-to-day -day work So next on the list is Samilan Island. Samilan Island is one of the most expensive expensive or one of the most famous islands here island here in why is that so i mean it's because they have this beautiful sandbar okay so there's uh, actually sumilan island is just um are it's also in it's also in a so from whale shark watching activity is just 10 minutes from the uh, from the reception of blue waters or the um, docking area of the pump boats so actually there's two options you could go um, the expensive one or you could go the cheaper one so why am I telling you these two options because actually Sumilan Island is a private resort private island I mean it's owned by blue waters a uh, blue waters resort so the only way uh, what's the difference what's the difference between paying the expensive one and the um, the cheaper one is that the expensive one you need to pay 3,000 pesos that includes buffet and you get an access to the entire island so aside from the swimming pool the beautiful scenery or the beautiful seascape that you can see on the top of the island you could also have a buffet lunch in the island itself 
Okay, so we also get the feeling of VIP. I mean, you will be truly um, well accommodated as soon as you enter the island because um, the Blue Waters Resort have their own reception area or docking area. So that includes and pay in 3000 and they also have welcome drinks as soon as you wait for your boat. Okay, so the other one, the cheaper one, you need to pay 300 pesos. So that's a public, I mean, not a public, but it's, I think it's uh, organized by the, the, uh, the local government wherein these spam boats are grouped together uh, to take you to the island. But the difference is, and the only thing that you can access in that island is the sandbar. Okay, so I had experienced both. Um, I did a day. Um, actually, I did a hundred. I already um, visited the island um, more than ten times. Uh, as I get an exclusive membership from Blue Water, so I really had that experience. I did experience it myself. So it's really awesome and truly an escape from the city. I mean, I wish I could own one. Okay, so I also tried, I also uh, stay there for a night and um, yeah, so romantic. I mean, I haven't vlogged it. Did I did a vlog about it? Maybe you can check on my YouTube channel. Um, I think I've, I had, I vlogged before about Blue Water Milan. So, yeah. Okay, so next. Um, so, you pay 300 pesos just to access the sandbar. Although, it's really cool. I mean, the, the, the beauty of Sumilan, I mean, the one thing that they brag about is the sandbar. And... Uh, Island for me, I mean, an escape from the stress and all the. I mean, oh, I love nature so much, and that's one um, one place that I really love about Cebu. Okay, fourth in the list is Aguinis Falls. So Aginet Falls is one of the most beautiful falls here, here in Cebu, and I'm I'm going to truly recommend this one to you. Although there's one falls here is which is also famous, the Kawasan Falls, but I'm sure Aginet Falls is a lot better than Kawasan Falls because Aginet Falls is not yet um, called this. Um, not much expensive because uh, the only thing that you're going to pay is the environmental fee which is I think 30 pesos plus the tour guide but the tour guide they don't ask you how much but it's up to you so aside from that you get to experience the five stages of the waterfalls and it's really challenging we did it with my friends and also with my family so imagine um imagine there the stage the uh the stage one is uh already awesome but the stage stage two is the most challenging part and you wouldn't believe how high it is so my mother was even scared to climb it but we were able to let her climb and be able to experience the state until stage five. So we should.
should uh, you should go to Aginid Falls because it's one um, it's not that expensive and um, you could truly enjoy the 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 water and the falls um, the falls also unlike in Kawasan because if you go closer to the water if you going to dip in the water it's really deep already unlike in Agadir Falls you can still experience there um, a shallow water and swim and also the water is clean so I think that's fourth on the list so let's move on to the fifth okay fifth on the list is Mualboar Okay, Mualboal is famous for its um, diving site. I think they like Pescador Island where you can swim with the sardines. <laughs> Actually guys, I haven't experienced it yet. So when the lockdown is over, when everything is normal, I will really try it. The only thing that I tried in Mualboal is just stay there overnight and, and drink with my friends. <laughs> and um, it's really a good experience though because we're still college at the time and the beach there is really clear uh, the water is really clear blue from the beach itself you can actually dive in and do snorkeling because you can already see a lot of fishes there and corals but the one thing that you should try in Molwal is the is uh, diving with the sar uh, dive with the sardines they call it sardines run so I should try it maybe you, you come with me and we try it together okay so I think that's all so we have already Santa Nina Church we have Oslo whale shark watching we have some Milan Island we have Aginid Falls and the last but not the least is small ball um, do a sardines run in small ball so if you only have few days here in Cebu, those are the top five things or the top five places that you should visit and that will make your stay here in Cebu memorable and forgettable and maybe you keep coming back here because you have to experience the other places as well okay so I think that's all guys so thank you so much for watching this video I hope I was able to help you with your um, travel and hopefully when everything is gets back to normal we could travel back again and I will be able to show to you other uh, places here around Cebu and maybe join me on my next travel so thank you so much and I see you on my next vlog and Please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, like, share, and in, on the description box below, I'll be showing to you, I'll be putting down um, the details of this um, trip, I mean, this uh, five places, so that you'll be guided as well. So, thank you so much, and goodbye. This is Reggie, the Cebu Budget Traveler, and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye!